Three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this quick tutorial about how to make a rounded square, a rounded box, a rounded rectangle. And it's actually, we're gonna clone the smooth tool. And that's a tool that we'll use a lot, especially in my tutorials moving forward. So make sure that you have a rounded edge. So let's take the smooth brush and we're just gonna tap on it. Then we're gonna hit clone. And you can name it rounded edge or something like that. Rounded edge. All right, so now we have our rounded edge brush here. And these are the settings we wanna change for rounded edge or rounded edge tool probably is better. So let's go up here to this little paintbrush icon um, where we have these settings. Uh, they should be fairly default, so they should look mostly like mine. Let's scroll down to the fall off. We'll tap and then we'll go to flat. So that's the first thing. The second thing, we'll go down to stroke type and then we'll tap grab dynamic radius. And that's all for that. So let's jump over uh, two icons to this little hand. So we'll tap that for pressure. And the first thing we want to do is uncheck use global settings. These are mostly, these are my global settings. So this, so the pressure will be like this for most of my tools, but we don't want this to match the other tools. So we want to uncheck use global settings. So now we're just using specific settings for this tool. So instead of spline, let's go to preset. And we'll tap on both and hit flat. And that's it. So one thing to note is that when you close the application, if you close the application, then you go back into it. Um, your tool will still be there. The tool is still here. The pressure has reset and everything has reset. So you just have to go in and reset the settings, unfortunately. Okay, so now we have our new rounded ed edge brush. So let's put it into practice. I'm going to delete this sphere and add a box. So the edges will be really, really soft and really, really round, depending on how uh, dense or you know how high the poly count is. For example, right now, for our box, it is uh, 6,536 uh, vertices. So that's not too dense. So when we validate this, and then we go to our rounded edge, what we want to do is start in the middle and drag out. And then you can see, I'll do that again, you can see that it rounds all the edges equally. So I'm going to go to my settings here and just make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bit more intense. I can keep going over it. And it's going to equally make all the sides uh, round. So you may want to make a uh, more round edge than this more rounder edges. I don't know if that makes sense. So you may have to go here and you can voxel, you can remesh, you can bring this down lower. You can remesh at something like 36 or something like that, just a lower number. And it will round out even more. And so on and so forth. Maybe I'll bring it down really low. And you can make it really, really round. And another great thing you can do with this tool, so let's say we have a really, really rounded box here, but we want to add a new box. So we'll bring the new box up, but we really like the sharp edges. So I'm going to validate. I'm going to raise the resolution to this one to about 500. So now this box is really dense, and clearly you can see the difference between the two. You can take rounded edge and you can also pull it a few times on that box. Now, just the very edges are rounded, but where that comes, where that makes a difference, this box is 1.53 million. 
This box is 704 vertices. So that's a big difference. But if you want to do flat surface, then we'll take this box. We'll go here and we'll decimate 765K. So it'll cut it by half each time. And since we use the rounded edge and it rounded out these edges, it's allowing it to be decimated very low. 749, 375. And now we start seeing a little distortion in our box. So I'm gonna back up one step, but I think this is perfectly acceptable. It's only 375 vertices. So it is definitely usable. So these are two use cases, um, but this is a great tool because you can decimate and you can make round edges. So hopefully that was useful. Let me know in the comments. Um, and also I want to shout out to Procreate FX uh, Holger here on YouTube. Make sure you check out his video. Um, I learned a lot of a lot of tricks through his videos, and this is one thing that I learned from his videos. And I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, make sure you go to his channel and uh, subscribe. He has some very brilliant ideas and videos and techniques and, um, you know, everyone should learn them. The more I learn, the more you guys learn because I'm still growing with Nomad as well. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.